Maritime law is the law of the sea. It is the uh, uh, law that governs disputes that arise from marine transportation. Primarily, what we handle here at our firm is personal injuries that occur on vessels to workers, to passengers, to third parties. And here at our firm, we see all types of injuries that occur to maritime workers. That can include anything from a broken leg to an injured back, to an injured neck, to an injured knee. It can include burns, it can include amputations, and it can even include death. Maritime injuries in Texas and across the country are extremely common. Maritime labor is a very, very dangerous form of employment. If you're injured on the job, the first thing you need to do is report your injury to your employer. It's very important there be a record made of your injury. And when I say a record, you need to tell the, your employer what parts of your body are hurt and how it happened. The next thing you need to do is get to a doctor and get prompt medical attention. You also need to speak, in my opinion, to a, uh, a maritime lawyer that can give you sound advice as to how you should handle your claim. A maritime injury claim can be based on defective equipment of the vessel. For example, if a part of the vessel breaks or is not in good repair or good order and that causes an injury, the injured worker has a cause of action, has a claim against the employer or the vessel owner. Oftentimes there are more than one entity or company that's responsible for an injury occurring at sea. That can be your employer, it could be the vessel owner if it's different than the employer, it can be the operator of another vessel, it can be a third party, it can be somebody that's come on the boat to do some work and does it improperly. So a good maritime lawyer will investigate and identify all the responsible parties. This firm handles maritime cases across the country. I'm licensed in four states and uh, we have other lawyers here that are licensed to even in, in even more jurisdictions. And in the jurisdictions where we, we don't have a law license, we partner up with local lawyers. The maritime law is a federal law, so it's the same law across the country. A member of a crew of a vessel does not have a typical workers' compensation case. A typical workers' compensation case would allow you to get a certain percentage of your income and your medical treatment, but you cannot recover all of your wages. It does not include wage replacement. It does not include future wage replacement, and it doesn't include pain and suffering. A member of a crew of a vessel that becomes injured has a claim that would allow that worker to get full wage replacement, would allow that worker to get pain and suffering, and would allow that worker to get significant other damages that are not available to a typical workers' comp claimant. I have been handling maritime cases since 1987. I'm a board certified personal injury trial lawyer. I'm a proctor in Admiralty and I'm licensed in numerous states. All I do is represent maritime workers and those injured on vessels. Clients hire our law firm because we are the, one of the most well-known and established maritime personal injury law firms in the country. Our current and past clients would say that we do everything possible to maximize their recovery. I've made it a practice my entire career to communicate effectively with my clients. And that means returning phone calls, emails, text. I don't let it go overnight. I try to answer the same day, even in the same hour. I would say for a personal injury law firm, we're a medium-sized firm. PI firms don't get that big normally. The importance of having a smaller firm is that you get very personal attention. Our law firm is different from other law firms, primarily from our level of experience, our level of competence, and our level of professionalism. Someone that calls our office will speak to either me personally or one of the other lawyers. I take most of the new case calls. I take them day or night, 
weekends, holidays. And when I talk to that new client, we'll have a very in-depth conversation about the facts of their injury. How did the injury happen? Who is at fault for their injury? Did the worker do anything to cause the injury himself? And how is that worker injured? Does that worker need a doctor? How quickly does it need, does that work, worker need to get to the doctor? And any other information that we deem important for the handling of the case.